All right, it's early Saturday morning here for us as we're recording this. Uh, we are about to go out to Moncton Pond. If you're a regular viewer, you know that there's a console down there that I've been trying to get for a long time. He didn't have a power supply. He, I talked to him yesterday. He agreed for me to take down my power supply for my master system. Yes. So if you're not a regular viewer, you may have a hint of what that's for. So we're gonna go down and we're gonna try it out and hopefully... I hope so! It works! Yes! Stay tuned guys! Hopefully we have some good news or otherwise we just have a video to remind us how nothing. shitty this was! that we are back and we have some good news we have a turbo graphic 16 ah! <laughs> finally have one we did try it there it worked there was one issue though um we don't know if it's the av cord itself or the connection to the machine yeah. but i had to you had to kind of wiggle it and get it to a certain point and then we, you had a signal when we were there we tried it and none of these None of these lights light up. There's no lights. There's no There's lights no, to light it's up. Just it's just like show power. Yeah, there's nothing, and I didn't know that before. And after researching it, I, a lot of people complain about that. We don't even have a light to know if there's power going to it. Yep. So when we plugged it in and nothing happened on the TV, we were all like, mm, <laughs> "This was supposed to be our ticket to get a Turbo Graphic 16." Yeah. And then Scott started wiggling the wire. Yeah. Well, that he just sounds he, wrong. He, really. <laughs> well, he the owner did, and uh, it came on all of a sudden. Right? Yeah. Oh, what's going on? And I'm like, okay. And I was like, I'm holding, I'm gonna hold that connection there, and see. And then when I let it go, it turned off. So. We're um, not going to say how much we paid for it because... Nope. You treated me well, I got a good deal. Exactly. That's just it. Okay, guys. Go let's go hook it up. It is judgment hour, time, minute, day. I don't know what we call it. Scott's behind me. Trying to... <laughs> trying to get everything set up. And I'm on a mission to get a Phillips head screwdriver. Phillips head screwdriver. Let's go. I really, really hope this works. Here's your poking device, sir. So the master system's all hooked up. Goes into the back of the VCR. Now this one, I just kind of linked it in with the same thing, the turbo graphics. So I'm gonna turn the master system off. Okay. And here's the moment of truth. Hopefully, keep fingers crossed, Jen. And <laughs> Well. <laughs> that did not work. We're hoping that we can take it apart and maybe it's just... Maybe a uh, broken solder. Solder, yeah, that needs to be fixed. Where is my bit, bit, bit? I feel like I may have gotten you to put it in your purse at one point. No, don't blame me. Now, you gave it back to me and I left it on the wall unit up there and then you moved it out of that? I mean, that's possible. <laughs> okay. I don't see why I have one here, but... Not the other. Okay, let me go check. Yep. Oh, I think I found it. All right. It's hidden under something. So, just let the record show. It my, was in there. My wife. Say, my wife. Your wife? No, you repeat after me. You say, my wife. Say it. My wife. Did not lose the bit. I never said you lost the bit. But, you thought about it. <laughs> well, you thought maybe. <laughs> first thing. Because hey. you were like, didn't I give that to you to check out a game? I so you did. Leave, it implied. It was implied. It was implied. You've never lost anything before. No. And you just said it. And you just said it on camera. You said yep. you never lost anything before. Never. Ever. Thank you. Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll be something obvious. Are we ever that lucky? It surprisingly looks really clean. Really clean. clean. I have to consult the YouTube. Always. So the RF, um, I guess port, port component, whatever, in there. There's definitely something wrong with it, broken solder or something like that. I started to take it apart, 
It's a little more daunting than that. It looks yes. like you have to de break the solder. You have to desolder some yeah. joints on the uh, or I think it's RF shield or whatever it's called. Yeah. The shield. I'm gonna look for some better videos because that's still an option for me to fix it. Op option number two is to see if there's something in town. Yeah. Because there is an electronics. Now place I do want to say when I read up about this, it's a known failure on yeah. the turbo graphics because Cut. with continuous like taking it out and putting it back in, it starts to fail. In and out. In and, and out, in and out. It starts to fail? It starts to fail. Does it? It does, I guess, <laughs> with time and age. So that is why that, plus it's just your RF port, it's not gonna be your best video, right? Yeah, it's RF. I keep yeah. wanting to call it AV. I don't know what it is. Third option, which seems to be the easiest and cheapest way, yes. is you found on Amazon. Yes, now. You can get a Turbo Boost made by TurboGrafx-16 if you want to spend an extra plugs into 100, the back of 300, $500 yes. for a genuine TurboGrafx component. Or you can get a third-party Hyperkin one for $21.02 on Amazon.ca. We and can have it here by Wednesday. We are Saturday what, today. Yeah, what that does is it plugs into the back of this and gives you your yellow, white, and red. And that's the easiest, cheapest, quickest fix, I think. I think so. I will still, between now and Wednesday, look at videos and get a game plan down to see how difficult it would be to fix that. Yeah. Um, but we know that it does work. It does work, yeah. You guys stay tuned. We may, you may see our faces back today or we may be wearing different clothes. Or Wednesday or next weekend or whatever. Yeah. whenever we get that we're gonna test it out try it out and it'll be part of a review I guess take two on the turbo graphics we are back we have the piece we were looking for we had to order it we couldn't find it locally but it came super quick it came really quick oh my god it promised us Wednesday we ordered it we keep talking Saturday and it came in on Monday so I was shocked like that's not even two days from the time we ordered it because it came first thing in the mor morning. So we well, hope this is the fix. It is an AV adapter. Yes. It basically hooks into the pins on the back. Yeah. And then gives you your three color composite, I think it is. Yeah. I don't think it's composite. I think it's composite. I always get them mixed up. Hyperkins makes this. And uh, I'm not a huge fan of Hyperkins. Yeah. Because I've some of their shoddy products in the past, but I do not want to bash anybody right now. Yeah. No. And we're just going to call it Hyperkin because they don't have an S at the end. So for the most part, these reviews are really, really good. I'm just making sure that no, yeah. no pins are bent or anything, yes. but it is snug. I'll tell you that. Yeah. For the most oh, it part, is, yeah, the it is review is really, really good on these. We did have a few reviews that we read that said, don't use this. It's the worst thing ever. It's not meant for the system it over time. It ain't gonna fall out. It goes in there snug. Yeah. They said over time, it might damage your system. But then again, nobody else has reported that. This is one person who never bought it that's saying it's garbage. So I don't know. The other complaint was it's neon green. It's, gonna it's be in the back. In the back. What does that matter? Also, neon green was probably in at that point in time, so. Well, neon green. green Look, neon about. orange, neon yellow. It kind yellow. of goes with our game room theme, but it's we're not going to see it anyway. Exactly. So, I, I have no issue with it. I plug this in, and then. We and will... as long as you know colors and can see, you can put them in the right ones. Good luck, Dennis. Good luck, Dennis. So we'll go hook this up and keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> 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 I thought you gave the camera. No, finger. I didn't give the camera the finger. Like something happened. Well, I'm just. I don't know if I have a right one. Well, I got something. Oh. 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 Nice. So I mean, obviously, what you guys are seeing, you're seeing a few lines through that because hello, it's on my it looks good my phone, but for us in person, it looks really good. But it's just those old CRT TVs when you take video of them. They have yeah, that one rate. line. Yeah. Yeah, I might be able to fix that in editing, but I don't want anybody to blast me in case I don't. Here's your controller, sir. Oh, yeah, we're going to need an extension. We're going to need extensions. But good news, she works. It looks like a really cool little game. Right. It looks good, eh? It does. It looks really good. 
Modane, we got one. We got a TurboGrafx 16 and it is works. It Mondane or Mondane. You always say it right. Mr. M, we got one. This is my first time ever playing a TurboGrafx 16 ever. I don't know how to use it. Hit the start button. It says run. That's It's my run button? Yeah, whatever. All right. Okay, I got it. I'll probably do better than Scott. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, can bend down. Oh, I'm surprised the game is so cheap. Right? Because we've seen, well, this one we got with the machine, but. Oh, I did. And, uh, <laughs> but we have seen this game in town for $10. Yeah. They're loose. Um, but that's the only two games we've seen was the same game in town. <laughs> that's true. You can hear in the background, possibly, the game works. Plus, we just showed game them. Game work, yeah. We but just showed them. I'm actually, because it's the first Turbo Graphics game I've ever played, yeah. <laughs> I didn't play it long, I'm actually surprised at how well it looks. Yeah. Now, the AV adapter. It's probably going to help that. It's probably going to help. Compared to the RF cable. Yeah. And uh, we could have totally passed on this system for that RF output, but we didn't. We got it for a damn good price. Yep. And this solution was $21.22. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. It was pretty cheap. What? Like, it's, and we it's had kind it of a no-brainer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So now we have the ability so, to play that. Um. I think most people would know that collecting for the TurboGrafx-16 is pretty much impossible. So it our is. plan is to get an Everdrive. Yes. And then we have to track down the stuff that goes on the Everdrive. Yes. And <laughs> we also need the extension cables and then I think well, it's a home run. No, I just want to say before we end this video, huge shout out to Moncton Pond for yes. hooking us up. He we, held on to the system for us, waiting to get a yes, power supply for it. For probably a month. Probably a month. Yeah. And he's like, don't worry, it's not going anywhere. Yeah. It's yours when you want it. It's like it's like going to visit a friend. We well, go yeah. in there and talk yeah. to him and hang out a little bit. And I just, I couldn't ask for a better guy. And we love going there. It's, it's just a great place to visit. If you guys are in the Moncton area. Pop up. The oh, address. Yeah. Yes, I will. I'll um, give you guys all the information. I don't know if you can put a link to their Facebook page. Uh, probably, like that, yeah. All in, I'll put that all in, in here. There. Because, yeah, without, uh, without Moncton Pond, I still would We'd not have this. We'd still be searching. You don't see them much you don't. around here. I don't know what it's like around. Let me know in the comments. How How is it hunting for TurboGrafx-16 in your area? Have you ever had one? Have you ever played one? Do you even want one? Do you even want one? Yeah. yeah. But... You can't have ours. It's, it's, <laughs> for me, it was like that unicorn there. I it could is. never capture this unicorn or a Bigfoot. You'd hear, hear about it and you'd see pictures Lost on Nest the internet Monster. there, but I'd never have one in my hand, never seen one up close yeah. there. <laughs> I, I can't tell you, like, this grin right here is completely authentic. I can't wait to play that game. Yeah. I think I need to add Keith Courage to my list of games to play for 2021. Maybe you do too. It looks it, freaking good. Look, he, now he's got a robot suit or something. Yeah, it's freaking awesome. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, cheers to nothing. Fist bump. Ow, game on. You gotta stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs>